hello all welcome to my youtube channel code ml and in today's video i am going to talk about the most common scenario usually asked in the interviews as well and also we deal in our day to day life sometimes that okay we need to clean the table okay clean the table as in sup suppose if the report, uh, records which are actually stored in the table got duplicated somehow so we need to identify those records so for that i actually use a select query to identify those kind of records and then we with the help of the consent we delete those set of records which are actually duplicated okay why why we do that why because the duplicate records are actually not needed and it in turns also deprives and like lessens the uh, performance of the table suppose the queries which are actually running uh, over that table it will take a lot amount of time if suppose billions of record are there and that billions of records somehow like a portion of it like 10 to 20% records are actually duplicate so it is consuming up the space it is depriving the uh, performance of the table of our application and that for that reason we in our maintenance activities we usually cleanse the table and we delete the duplicate records okay so how we do that in this video i am going to talk about this okay so here i am what i am doing this is our uh, oracle live sql uh, platform and here uh, this is the sql worksheet which i have uh, i have just written the scripts just to save the time that's why i have written like this okay so drop table just suppose i am just checking over here that whether it is uh, any table is actually currently not created okay so i am just running this command so that if suppose if any existing table is there with the name it can be dropped off i have dropped the table now you must be aware if you are not aware of the create table syntax you can watch my day one session and you will be able to see that okay how the create table and what is the explanation for that okay now i have taken few of the records i have taken these are the insert statements and you can see like 104 like bangalore bangalore three records then uh, four to five records these i have taken i have i am doing the insert statement so that it will actually create the duplicates for me so you can see that okay what all the duplicate records are there you can see for 104 there are three set of records for 105 uh, there are almost four records five records which are actually duplicate Uh, in turn all the columns are having the duplicate and then you can see for 106 employee id also there are two set of records which are actually duplicate so suppose now here we are seeing why because it's a very limited data that's why we can identify but in the current scenario where there are millions of record you can't just by at the uh, take a look and identify so for that you need to write a select query okay so firstly i will show you uh okay the rows are inserted and now what i will do is i will just show you this okay so this is how our table looks like okay higher date has the uh, column as null okay let's let's drop that column first why because i have uh, i don't want that column i am again dropping the table very fast and then i will create without that higher date now i am inserting these all seven records seven to eight i mean 10 to 12 records are there i guess now so suppose if you want to check that okay what is the count so here is this uh, query which you can write select count star so once you do a this count will actually show you the number of rows which are actually present inside your table 13 13 rows are inserted at present okay so this is our query okay so i will firstly firstly show you this part that how this works let me show you this first over here what does it mean i will try to explain each and every line of this so here let's run first this and show you what it shows okay so here firstly in the select clause employee id is the only column which we are selecting that's why it is showing like this now from which table we are doing we are uh, selecting the data from employee underscore rt table and then the group by the group by clause actually groups in the data based on the columns which you specify under that clause 
Okay, so here under that clause, we are only specifying the employee ID. Suppose if I have also written the name over here, okay, that is the emp name column. If I would have specified, then we would also we would have written over here emp name as well. Okay. Here you can keep as many number of columns, but those same columns would be also under the group by clause. Okay. Let me show you an example of this. Okay. So let's first like firstly we'll be uh, selecting this and we'll check that okay whether it will run or not. Okay, this is not a group by expression. Usually this is a very basic thing. People don't understand that why this is this error is coming. Since in the group by you are selecting the column but you are not doing a group by. For that reason, this you are getting an error. So once you take this and just insert over here in the group by clause as well, whatever columns which would will be inside the select clause, those all columns would also exist into the group by clause as well. Okay, and I will show you over here. Count, you know what is count? Count is a aggregate function. Okay, so now it will also actually show for having now. Okay, now here group by what we have done employee ID and employee name is the basis on which we are doing a group by the set of records we are grouping into each another. Okay, based on employee ID and then employee name, and then having count having is also an additional filter it is it is it is the same it is a, also a filter like where clause but the difference the major difference between where and having is where can be taken and can be used as a filter before a group by clause okay it will work on like all the rows uh, entire table but for group by when we do a having it will actually apply a filter on those groups okay so here if i say having count employee id greater than one that means firstly it is doing a group by and where the count of those employee id now where it is actually greater than one when sim see if you if i talk about two different employee ids like 102 and 104 104 are multiple like repeating itself okay so there the count will be actually three but for uh, 102 uh, employee id it will be one only the count would be one so that is why it is filtering and count employee ID greater than one will that 102 will not come inside this query now you can see what our data is showing for us it is showing the employee ID what we selected employee name and then count employee ID since you can see that okay 104 105 and 106 but actually the rows which were actually duplicate so that's why it is listing out all those things so this is the query for selecting the duplicate but suppose if you want all the columns so then i have used a sub query so that is why i have just selected the employee id column and then i'm doing a select star so that it will show all the columns and where employee id in so since we have only uh, in the sub query we are using this i have only selected employee id column so that with the in clause here we can filter it out okay so this is only showing us the employee id so our original query was this this is the sub query okay so 105 104 and 106 will come and hence row by row employee id will take these values like when where employee id in 105 comma 104 comma 106 and then it will show all the values for it so if i should execute this you will see all our duplicate data 105 106 and 104 these are the employee ids which have actually the duplicate data so now now we have identified the duplicate data now the main concern is how we are going to delete the duplicate records keeping the first at least one record should be there why why because we will not be deleting the entire set of records which are duplicate at least one row should be present among them so how we'll be doing this so there are two functions there are two functions uh, row id and row id row num these are all the uh, these are the analytical functions okay row id is also a pseudo function which actually uh, shows us and the uh, it's a logical address it's a like physical address which actually shows uh, and depicts the 
uh, the address of that record itself okay inside the database the row id stores that value okay so here what we have done is see for each particular record there will be a row id assigned to it so here what we have used in our sub query first select max of row id so this will also have one row id value then this will also have and this will also these all particular uh, records will not have same row id the row id would be a different and the most recent we will be keeping it and whatever set of row ids are apart from this max row id with that we are uh, selecting and we are deleting from the employee table so what i will try to explain once again if i take this and I, if i just show you what it actually results in so as of now you can see that these are uh, like it's a, that's what i told you that it's a like a address row id is actually a address level information it actually stores the address the physical or logical address of that record record by record it will store that is why you are able to see this uh, like a uh, a text value okay so then it will select for all the set of rows uh, yes so for all the set of rows this will also have one row id value this will have another row id this will also have another row id and what it will do out of these row id suppose for employee id 104 it uh, my this query will select a max row id and apart from this max row id it will fetch all these records here also suppose this is our max row id all these records will fall under this where row id not in and then we are going to delete this okay let's let's check that okay whether uh, let's check that whether uh, this will work or not for us yes you can see 105 all records okay these are but see here 106 only one row is coming it is preserving one row okay and only one row, one row will be deleted okay so 106 only one row is coming for 104 employee id we were having three records so it is it has taken the maximum row id and the rest two row ids it is coming inside uh, this query and then for 105 also five rows were there out of that it is keeping the maximum the most recent one and all the low uh, all the lesser one la, the 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 row ids which are apart from the max row id it has uh, selected over here so just if we do a if we do a delete from statement and uh, if we execute this seven rows deleted okay so now if i go and firstly check the count earlier it was 13 now only six rows are there that is uh, seven rows are deleted six are still remaining now we will actually check that whether our data is our table is cleansed or not and yes you can see our table is now cleansed 101 2 3 4 5 now the duplicate data has been deleted keeping the most recent one the most updated one with us okay so i hope you are clear with this uh, uh, the the most basic things which we do in our day to day life uh, using the sql i was just trying to show you that okay so if you have some confusion on this uh, please comment below or in the comment section and i will be happy to resolve them and uh, i will post this code into my description as well into the comments as well okay so thanks for this thank you